Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome back to Starbase. Oh, look at that Duratec right there at the back. And oh man, it is so cool. Great to be back. I've taken like a, I think a day off. But yeah, we'll show you guys that thing over there in a second. But yeah, welcome back to Starbase. Hope you guys had a fantastic day. I'm doing great. And also, thank you very much for all the great comments and suggestions and to the likes and the views and whatnot. You guys are really making this fun, really fun to play with. And soon, I think we are going to do a, a series where we are going to like just, you know, develop a ship. Just design it and whatnot and see what we can do. Um, which will we will get to the other mining ship in a second. But I want to quickly check this out. I just spawned in just now and I saw this thing flashing. <laughs> I just think, what the hell is this? <laughs> this is actually very adorable. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little tr two triangle thrusters there, a little pumpkin patch. I think if the developers could have a competition like who can make the most creative, this one would win. This one, or I think we just saw it there, um, the SR-71 Blackbird variant, right? I think it's called something else. But anyways, yeah, I think that'd be cool, you know, like a, a contest who can design like the coolest looking ships. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead into the designer over here. And I'm going to show you guys the progress I've made. I've taken account, into account everybody's advice regarding the whole um, uh, thrusters, maneuver thrusters and whatnot. And I did figure it out, which I'm really glad about. And uh, yeah, also there are two other things I want to show you guys. But let's go ahead and open up um, the falling miner. Yeah, movement. Did that two days ago version 6 already so yeah over here here we have it yep 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 everything is in order everything's in place a uh, couple of snags i've run into um, but i do i must say i do like my piping you know i kind of like how i did everything and i'm trying to make it uh, a way that my cables and pipes do not overlap each other because i heard that is a very good thing to do i mean except for you know prob oh wait here we go uh, except for here, I had no choice, but it's because I installed maneuver thrusters here and I was, could not be bothered to rearrange everything. It, this, like, <laughs> the piping and everything just took me hours and hours. But anyways, let's go out to the back, show you guys that I did go ahead and add more thrusters for extra power and whatnot. But I learned afterwards that box thrusters, I think they kick out more power than a triangle thruster over here. So I think that I... I you know, you're not going to keep it. It's good. It's fine for me as as is. Uh, it's not a very fast ship, but it is good enough for me. And I did go ahead and install these thrusters over here. These ones. These ones at the top, at the back, and at the front. And at the bottom, everything. I have my four mining, mining lasers. And some of the boxes and things, you might be, you know, different colors and whatnot. Just because I've been playing around with the tools. Uh, the paint, paint tools. And uh, yeah, I went a little bit ham. I got a little bit bored of everything. So I decided to go ahead and um, paint a little. And then I decided like, nope. And I just left the mining lasers black. I'm not, not going to do the boxes just now, just yet. And then way, way later, then I discovered like I left a couple of blue-ish purple. Blue? Purple? I don't know. I'm a little bit colorblind. But yeah, they are <laughs> they aren't underneath here. So yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead. I want to show you guys that. She does fly. I figured out all of the kinks. She is flying now. The only issue I'm having right now is the four mining lasers, but I think I'm going to change that up to a little bit something else. Oh, damn it. I thought like I was <laughs> going into test mode. I was like, why is it taking so long? No, it's not. It's me being a derp. All right, let's go over here. And uh, yeah, Wait. we have leftwards movement, right movement. We have up and down, or well, 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 down and up, which is really cool. We have turning, which is awesome. I love it. It is slow because she is very bulky, but hey, it's fine. Now we have the money lasers, and I did. I do not understand YOLO a lot. Okay, I'm trying to learn it. Um, so I will go ahead at some point and ask in the Kbots Discord uh, for maybe some. If somebody has a YOLO code for me or something about the lasers. But basically what I want them to do is point into a X shape. 
we can just do this into an X shape. And I just want a lever or maybe some automated system that goes back and forth, back and forth in an X shape, maybe. Or, all right, let me show you. This is kind of what I want. We activate the mining lasers. Oh no, they are incorrect now. Why? All right. I uh, just want to see. All right, here we go. So this is what I wanted. Uh, pinpoint. And then I want the mining lasers to go while being pinpointing. And then goes into sort of like an X or a it covers a big area. You know, that's kind of what I wanted. But this happens. The batteries, they run out. They run out so quickly. Um, I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong at all. Uh, they are not charging and I... They are charging, but very slowly. So I don't know if it's like, should I add more generators to it? Should I add enhancing, enhancers? Oops, wrong thing. Enhancers to the generators. I don't know. I have, I don't know. We'll just add a million batteries and just hope that does the trick. So yeah, well, this is taking us forever. But that's just kind of the thing I'm thinking about. Um, yeah. And I heard you can have up to one fuel cell, three generators or something. So maybe adding just the generators itself and just not fuel cells or something. Um, because I thought this whole thing was a generator. No, 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 no. That thing is a generator. This is just a fuel cell holder, which you add your fuel cells in. So, see so guys, I'm learning. And these are coolant racks. I think on a Buffalo video, I saw I said these are yellow racks. Like, no, baboon, try again. <laughs> So, yeah, these are generators. Anywho, is also that is that I'm like ca caught in a little snag. So, we will, I will see what I can do. Maybe just cut down on the mining lasers. So, like, there's not like four eating it, but maybe just two or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what we can do about that. But next is the uh, Loxodonta. It's basically, I don't know what language it is, but it's basically the African elephant. And I've been working that, yeah, four in the morning. You guys saw that correctly, four in the morning. So basically what I want to do is delete that and delete that. Let's go ahead and save it because that's happened last time as well. So what I want to do is I want to have... We're, I'm going to change this up, but this is what we're going to do in future videos uh, from now on. The next episode, we're going to start with this thing and just edit away. And what I want to do is... A tall-ish ship okay it's tall and not wide it's just very tall upwards vertical and um, what I wanted to do is the th have three by three crates you know uh, one two three like this one two three and then one two three so that it is big enough for if they add I heard they, they are in, it's in the making three by three large um, crates so I want the, the ship to be ready for in case that happens. So we can have a ton of um, normal ore crates in it. So this is just going to be basically a hauler. Um, but it will be ready for when those crates are added. So yeah. And uh, I think that's going to be cool. And it's... Um, yeah, I will show you guys when we're going to get started on this. What the idea is. Well, where I got the idea from. It's basically from EVE Online. It's one of the Kaldari's... Um, hauling ships or industrial ships I'm taking inspiration of. Basically, we're going to copy it. That's what I'm going to do because I really do love the Kaldari's ships, how they look like, some, some of them. So, anyways, that is that. And then uh, I'm not going to show you guys Project Blue Book. It is a very, uh, how can I say it? Hmm. Very secretive thing, which I want to give to the K-Bots. Well, not really give to K-Bots. It's just going to be my, oh, look, K-Bots gonna be my ship i'm gonna use but i'm gonna it's gonna be used for whatever k bots need it for you know maybe protection because it's gonna be a fighter ship it'll be protection in the uh, belt or something or go raiding i don't know you'll see anyways you guys hold on i'm quickly going to a specific place and i want to show you guys the ship we're gonna just do a test run today and you guys have to tell me if you should buy it or not so hold on all right, welcome back. So we are going to visit this uh, rando ship or, or ship hangar over here. This is where we um, bought that big mining ship last episode. It's in here as well, the same ship. And I was thinking we should take a look at it. 
by the way, I want to let you guys know to find these ships, uh, this, these rando places up here, um, to find them very easily. Look for, there is the ore tower, which has three, six, nine uh, slots over there. It is very, very easy. Actually, let me show you this way, guys. Okay, so over there is the um, spawn point. So if you spawn there, right there is the mining jobs or the jobs which you can go do. And then there's the market. So if you're standing there and you look upwards and you see this tower of the nine um, slots over there, just to the right of it are these two um, ship shops. I think they are actually new-ish. New? -ish? new? I don't know when they've been added, but apparently, like, yeah, just like people don't know where to find them. But, um, hey, look, another ship. Uh, yeah, I would highly recommend come here and look at it, look at the ships and whatnot. So, if you guys haven't already, I have some pretty cool ships. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look at my previous video. One of the ships you can buy, which is really, really, really cool. Really cool ship. I do like it. I actually took it out the other day for a bit of a spot of mining. And um, it was so nice. I forgot how nice mining could be. I've been in many hours in the ship design shop. Or in the ship designing uh, that I um, forgot completely. Like um, how nice mining is. So, yeah. Rando number four. Oh, these are numbered now? Huh? That's when? It must be shop number four and then number three or something. I don't know. But yeah, okay. Rando shop number four. Maybe entrance number four. I don't know. But here it is. This is the uh, ship I've been talking about. It is called the Draco. Um, it is... This, it was designed by this dude. This person. Um, a stylish space yacht. Okay. It's got a quad receiver GPS and for a navigation system. So basically a very good GPS system. <laughs> Um, small hidden okay yeah so it's 13 million I've got the cash to buy it easily and uh, you know what let me go ahead and show you guys what it's all about and there is a certain function I want to show you guys as well but we will get to it when we get to it alright so as you guys can see already we are loading in the testing test flight area and whatnot, but Look at this. Look how swanky this is. We got a glass and roof and floor glass ceiling. Glass ceiling and floor um, glass, whatever. And with these triangles, I really do like this. Really, really nice. A uh, couple of chairs for some peoples if you want to invite them in, onto the private yacht. Um, over here is the fuel cells, which you can go ahead and replace if you want to. Very accessible, very easily accessible. And then over here, here's a door, and over there's a door. And then over here is the one hidden compartment. That's just basically the YOLO chips. So yeah, this is a YOLO rack. <laughs> Let's go ahead and close that. And this is how the ship looks like from the outside. Okay, we will get to it when we get to it. It's got a resource um, port as well. Which is uh, for refueling purposes and whatnot. I didn't think there would be any ore crates or whatnot. You can't really go, go mining with this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and close the door. Oh, and there's more fuel rods down here. Stairs leading up. Um, this basically just shows you how to use the navigation things over there. Just jump on in. All these buttons. So you type in the coordinates and then you save it. And uh, yeah, that's basically how this works. It gives you your rod time. Your, yeah, rod time, your current position, vector. I don't know what that is. Um, you have your transponder. You have your lights, which you can switch on and off. Uh, you can open up the doors on the left and the right. You've got your battery charge. Generator you limits and all that. Um, okay, so. Precision is basically... Look at the uh, FCU forward. Slowly builds up, but you can go max speed. I love the sound of this thing. It, it sounds really, really awesome. So it's very slow build up, so you can precisely fly where you need to. All right. Um, then we can switch that off. We have a turtle mode. 
which just limits the power like a hard limit. So we can just like slowly turtle around if we wish to show off our yacht. All right, and then we have cruise control. So basically cruise control and then we just let go of everything and the ship will just go forward. Pro, pro nos. All right, let me just uh, get to a uh, clear area. Here we go. So you have these two buttons. One is like uh, Pathfinders to show you the way. You know the way. Alright. Which is pretty nice. Uh, and then this button. I think if I turn the ship a little. Yeah. CH on. That is a little crosshair. Which shows you like um, also another way where you can go. Which is you know pretty cool. And I think that is a cargo lock beam. If I'm not mistaken. And you can turn that off and whatnot. So it is, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice that. And last but not least, I want to show you guys the main feature of this ship. You guys probably seen in the descriptions as we saw it earlier. And some of the buttons down here. And probably noticed these lights as well. Well, it has a disco mode. Look at this um, seizure warning for anybody. I like seizure warning. <laughs> but yeah, I think we can do this and then let's let's go ahead and do this i, I just want to see dance yep there we go we're dancing <laughs> oh my goodness this is so cool yep disco mode um and we saw the pumpkin pumpkin earlier yeah it uh <laughs> look at the head it's, it's, yeah Oh man, the music should have changed. Uh, the pumpkin had the same configuration. I think they took the same YOLO cold code. Um, always the same people who made the pumpkin made this ship as well. Not too sure. But I, I kind of, I think this is swanky, you guys. You know, kind of feel like a pimp. But, um, or somebody who has a lot of money. But for the amount this cost, I would not say this is really a um, expensive ship at all. I'm just going to switch that off because I'm... Kind of getting nauseous and I want to go buy drinks for some reason. And then let's go ahead and take a look outside how the ship looks. And I've got to say it does look quite, quite swanky. I, I got to admit, it does look quite swanky. There's uh, some detail to it, like these corner pieces over here. The nose that dents in and then curves to, uh, downwards. These vents over here. Really, really cool. Really nice attention to detail. Um, it does feel like, listen, we we uh, we got cash, yo. We got the cash. So yeah. Anyways, people, I think that's gonna be it for me today. Sorry, there is not been much. Uh, anyways, like in properly testing whatnot. So let me know in the comment section. Like, should we cruise around with this? Let me know. I don't mind. I think I'm I am going to buy it, but if you guys want me to use this in the future, because I've been using the little port shuttle. Um, but if you guys want me to use this instead, I will do it. You know, I will I will definitely use it. I love the sound, how this thing looks, sounds, everything. And it includes the disco. So it's a it's a great feature. And uh, yeah, just wanna warn you all that next episode episodes is just gonna be me designing ships and whatnot, because I'm gonna take a crack at that. And you guys can let me know as well, like if I, if you guys can help me out with a couple of things. So anyways, people, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for joining me here on Starbase. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And I see you guys next time. Bye-bye.